Hey all, this is Paul Stratu. I wanted to take just a second and uh, describe to you something. Uh, somebody on uh, somebody was asking about how do you detect if a ball joint, or I'm sorry, not a ball joint, a uh, tie rod end is bad. Um, uh, I, I, in this video, I want to show you exactly what you're looking for and how to look for it. So here's a, here's a, this is a 91 Camaro and you can see there's a drag link that goes across um, this here is the drag link uh, that runs across here and in this is an inner tie rod that is connected there so I believe that this one's good but I want to show you exactly what you're looking for as far as uh, for it so what you're looking for is if you look if you looked directly down the line here okay uh, uh, and you're looking to see if there's any deflection between here and here. So if, if you drew a line down here and then uh, either you had or you s had somebody wiggle the steering wheel, um, if you see any deflection, if you see that this moves back and forth and this does not, that's deflection. Uh, and there should be zero deflection between the two. They should move as a unit together. If they move independently of each other, no matter how much, then there's wear there and that tie rod needs to be replaced. Okay? Um, it's not, most of the time, it's not like it's an emergency, it's something you can plan for to do. However, it does need to be replaced. It's worn beyond its, its usable state. So, uh, um, what it is, is there's a, there's a uh, half sphere, basically, that's in here that's captured on this post. On this side of it, there's a sphere, or it's spherical, uh, that um, is captured by the, the, this end of the tie rod, and wear will occur between the two, and then and then it will it will start shifting after it's worn too much. However, the reason why it's spherical on this end is it's designed to be able to turn. So this part, while it it shouldn't shift this way, this part should be able to rotate around the spherical end like this so uh, that allows everything to be able to shift and move without uh, without there being any play this way um, and, and that's basically how the how the tie rod ends now this is just an example um, uh, this is not probably not going to be like yours this has a regular uh, uh, steering mechanism in it. Most new cars today have rack and pinion steerings, uh, steering systems, um, but they do have an inner tie rod, and it's it's connected into a, you have a rack that will sit along here, and it has a rod that goes through the middle of it. Um, the tie rod end will screw directly into the end of it. Um, Tie, uh, inner tie rod ends, I don't know. I would think that they don't, uh, they go bad as often as the other ones, but they can go bad. Um, and then when you need to, you have to replace them. So this one has, uh, this one has, um, uh, tie rod in here. This is the inner. It has another one to the outside on the steering knuckle out there. So that's what you're looking for though, is for that movement between here and here. If it, if one moves and the other doesn't, or there's any play between the two, that's deflection. And that means that the tie rod end is bad. So hopefully that'll help you out. And, uh, till the next time, be well.